Legoland Windsor's brand new roller coasters are finally complete in both Planet Coaster and also real life to be fair. The red and blue dueling Ziera boomerangs have been under construction for quite a short amount of time actually. They're set to race against each other down the hillside and yeah, they look really fun to be honest. They look so fun in fact that I've decided to recreate these rides in Planet Coaster and today's video is the finale, the finished product of the projects and like i said at the start the rides have actually been completed in person too like all the tracks done and it, it's pretty much ready to open except from scenery and stuff but you get my point as per usual in this video i'll be doing the final touches to the project and then of course touring around the entire ride area and showing you what it may look like in real life although knowing me they've probably changed the plans so much that it won't look anything like it so if you do enjoy these pre-creations and you want to see more in the future then please be sure to subscribe to the channel we're so close to 60,000 subscribers which is just insane so if you want to help towards that goal subscribing would be much appreciated another day another planet coaster pre-creation series is about to be completed minifigure speedway the fourth and fourth well technically fourth and fifth because there's two coasters here um yeah the fourth and final pre-creation of all the different new uk roller coasters in 2024 yeah it's the final one that i need to do that could have been way more dramatic but i just messed it up completely but yeah after all of these different pre-creations you had hyperia nemesis Drayton Manor's confusing as hell roller coaster, and now these two. I've finally done them all. I've got all four Infinity Gauntlet things, and the fifth, which is technically the blue side of Minifigure Speedway because there's red and blue. I've done them all. It's been a painstakingly long journey, but you know what? We got there in the end, and we're actually very close to the proper opening season. Of course, Blackpool did open about a week ago, so uh, it was met by many, many good reviews. I heard so many positive things about that opening day. Um, definitely didn't, but <laughs> that opened. But I don't really count that as the, the full open season, of course, because that's really the only park that properly opened. Whereas now, of course... Saturday the 16th, Alton Towers and Nemesis Reborn opens. Can't wait for that day. It's going to be so good. And then after that, we've got Thorpe. I think Legoland's already open at that point. Same with Chessington. Um, so they're all just going to open at the same time. And the theme park season is underway. And I managed to do all these four pre-creations before the season began. That was the plan. I started with Hyperia. Uh, I then went on to Nemesis, the Drayton Coaster, and now this one. And I think I've done them all quite equally spread out. And now we're finishing it. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. And I'm not even building the coaster in this video. I'm just building a bloody mansion. But no, this mansion actually does go behind where the lift hills are exactly in the place that you can see. And it, I think it's quite a historic building, so they can't really do anything with it. So that's why it's there. Uh, it might get a reskin at the front. I don't really know what it looks like properly. So it's just more of a template of sort of this is what it's supposed to be don't take it fully because this is just a creation to show the coaster rather than a mansion behind it so it might not be fully accurate but the coaster i have tried my best to be accurate like it literally has a fake station where the real station is supposed to be because the planet coaster one doesn't fit normally i've gone to that extent for once can you believe it Although, if you have seen a few times, the train just does fall off the track at the end and just goes behind this mansion building. It's quite funny. But there's been a whole heap of mishaps with this creation, as per usual, and one of them is not this flag. The flag has Roxy on it. How amazing. And as much as getting it to duel and sort of the support structures and actually building Roxy was very difficult, we're now building Duplo Dino Coaster. Uh, is it Duplo Dino Coaster or is it just Duplo Dino? I don't know, but we're building the track layout for it because it's a very vocal thing in the area of Minifigure Speedway. It's right at the bottom of the hillside uh, in Duplo Valley. And as you look up from Duplo Valley up towards these two coasters, you definitely won't miss Duplo Dino. So I've put it there and I've now made a recreation of my favorite ride on the planet. Uh, it's now gone into the ground. <laughs> I forgot I did that. Um, obviously, because it's on a hill and this is just a flatland world in Planet Coaster, I have had to make a load of terrain changes here. It's not the best thing in the world, but it does the job, I think. So you can get quite good views from down there. You know, you can see Duplo Dino and the coasters in the background. But at the end of the day, it's not a recreation of Duplo Valley. It's minifigure speedway. And I'm here to build that 
not Duplo Valley, sadly. But here is actually the final pieces going in of the entire project, the uh, the support columns and footers. Um, I think this is the only time I've ever actually filmed the final pieces actually being put in because a lot of the time I say that, yeah, I finished it, but I won't film the final things going in. And those support footers were some of the final things I actually added. I waffled too much right there. It is now time to look at Minifigure Speedway in real time. Here we go. We are in the park on Planet Coaster. Why is that guy just stood there alone? But no, as you can see in front of us, we actually have a queue line, which I haven't showed you guys at all. You can see the coasters going in the background there. Whoa, down they go. I'm actually really happy with how well they duel. I'll, I'll show you in a minute. But yeah, I did this little queue line here. We're unsure of the exact sort of layout because they often change from the plans. But here's the one that I followed on your screen right now. Um, yeah, you can tell. I've tried to emulate it as best as possible. However, if we make our way down to the right of the queue line and come down here, I put these little like apex things uh, that you see in sort of Formula One tracks and just race tracks in general down here because I thought it looked quite cool. Um, there she is! It's Rox Verstappen! No, but there actually is Roxy right there, completely finished. Uh, the O on that is a bit a bit big but i don't really care and i'm actually really happy with how she turned out because it does look like a lego minifigure if i do say so myself but as you can see as the train goes back through ignore the wooden coaster trains it does look a bit odd but it's the only one that really works you can clearly see this billboard here now we know that there's metal trusses up to do with this billboard so we know it's going to be there but we don't actually know what's actually going to be on it so i literally did a blue and red sort of side thing there might be an advertisement on there it might say take your flight into hell like the swarm does you can see it goes down the hillside quite a bit here as you can see the elevation changes are quite massive and the supports along this section especially were quite tricky to do because they're just so weird like this one's on a diagonal but it's also attached to that one and that one over there it's very confusing either way we got there and as these trains are we're gonna head up that way so if we head up in the fast track queue this might be i'm not too sure We'll go up here, round. Uh, not the most perfect queue line, but again, we're basing this on the... Ignore that. We're basing this on the coasters over here. But this bit of the queue line, actually, is very unique because you come out of here, which is the main queue, and obviously you can go blue side or orange side, which is red. Wait, why is the track red and they've coloured everything orange? Uh, so if you go to the red side, you actually enter underneath the lift hills and you go down to the station which will go on this side anyway and wow oh isn't it such a nice open plan speedway feeling station look at them come through and then they should stop in the station like so for us to get on and have a ride Never mind. And you actually get a really cool view up here of the lift hills and sort of station area down there there you go I click dispatch and then it goes backwards up there. And uh, yeah, you've got a little op cabin. I've got a, a, a wheelie bin. And then as well, there's this window back here that has that amazing view as well. That, oh, that'd be such a cool op cabin to work in. I can't lie. But yeah, due to the game's limitations and stuff, this was actually really difficult to build. But we finally got there. It is finally complete. And uh, I can actually do a pov soon and by soon i mean next week stay tuned and make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss good night